the days to come, standing firm until the kingdom of Christ. In a world that is rapidly running out of time and is consumed with distraction and materialistic gain, the time to pray, find inner peace, and study the Word of God is now more urgent than ever before. As the world continues to grow into a much darker place, many are now struggling more with sin, severe depression, and even doubt. It can be very easy to feel distanced and abandoned by God. Doubt in God's love will often lead a child of God astray, but there is always hope for those who endure and continue to call upon the name of Christ. no greater love or desire in all of creation that can rival God's when it comes to embracing His beloved child. This is especially true whenever that child falls along the harshest roads of life. The Lord yearns to see His child prosper in love, joy, and peace to make it to His greatest promises in the life to come. God is trustworthy in all He promises and faithful in all He does. He upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. Psalm chapter 145, verses 13 and 14. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. John chapter 14, verse 1. I go to prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you to be with me. John chapter 14, verses 2 and 3. God is not ashamed to be called their God, for He has prepared a city for them. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 
verse 17. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8.